Welcome back to my channel. It's my first video for 2019 and I am not on my usual setting. I'm actually on travel and today is a weekend and I'm staying for the weekend because it's my dad's birthday here in Davao. And today we're going to talk about shoes that I last purchased the previous year, 2018, and the first pair of shoes that I actually uh, undiest for 2019. So this is the Adidas and Commonwealth collaboration with the ZX500 Remastered Silhouette. So, guys, I know what you're thinking. Those shoes are too white. They're too white, but they're also very, very pretty, right? So, let's talk about the upper. First off, we do have a mesh upper on the forefoot and also on the lateral and the middle side of the shoe and the mesh upper is actually kind of rough i'm not really saying that it's rough rough but it's rough to the touch it's not smooth or anything like that it does have an underlay which is patterned if you can see the circled pattern or uh, oval pattern uh, underlay uh, which is actually better to feel on the inside of the foot we do have some suede material also splattered around here in 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 the shoe uh, and it actually starts on the forefoot here uh, that makes up the toe guard and we do have it go around the shoe until the back here and also at the middle side of the shoe the three stripes uh, actually come in different colors uh, it, we have purple green and blue over here and actually the same on the other side of the shoe and what I like about the upper and the colorway of this shoe is these uh, leaf patterned uh, orange highlights at the back of the heel. We also have the consortium tab here on the top of the tongue uh, just to signify that it's an Adidas consortium shoe and it has the Adidas logo here as well. Now it's really a collaboration. No? Uh, we have Adi the Adidas logo on one shoe and the Co Commonwealth logo on the other. And then at the back of this shoe, you have the Commonwealth logo. And then at the back of this shoe, you have the Adidas logo as well. Now, let's talk about the midsole. It has a full length boost midsole and it's actually very, very chunky as you can see. We do have some TPU stabilizers here and here at the, at the heel of the, of the boost midsole. And uh, I believe it, it provides more stability for you when you are walking around. Let me give you a comparison on how thick the boost here uh, on the ZX500 Remastered uh, versus the NMD one. So if you can see, it's actually a lot thinner on the NMD and it's a lot more chunkier when it comes to the ZX500 RM. So what I'm saying here is this is actually a much more comfortable shoe on feet. And I've tried both feet, uh, both shoes on, uh, and they're really, really good on, on feet. Now, NMDs are actually very comfortable, and this is actually much, much more comfortable on foot. So let me tell you a story on how I spent the entire day with these pair uh, a couple of days ago. My flight was scheduled uh, 8.35 in the morning, and I was there at the airport before 7 o'clock. And when I checked in, I asked, on time by yung flight and sabi niya, sir, wala namang advice so I guess it's on time. So I went to the gates already and waited. And when 8.35 came, there was no flight at all. So it was further moved down to 10.30. So it was delayed because of a runway closure. So having said that, I was actually very, very worried because uh, the flight might be further delayed and it actually did it, it was reset to 3 15 in the afternoon and that actually blew everybody stop and everybody started you know arguing with people the thing is it's really nothing that we can do it's a runway closure they have to fix something for the safety of all the passengers kudos to cebu pacific air who actually fed the people who were you know had, who had delayed flights twice and they actually gave us a free one-way ticket uh, for us to use on the future. And so yeah, so actually that actually compensates, I guess, a little bit 
but uh, the inconvenience really of just wasting the whole day just waiting for your flight to happen at the airport was actually just very very you know irritating but I actually have these shoes on feet the whole the whole time and it was really really nice on feet because uh, it's really really comfortable what did I do in the airport? I just walked, 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 and walked. And I actually did 8,000 steps with these shoes at the airport during that day. And I did not feel any discomfort. And for me, these are really, really nice on feet. So, pasensya na guys, may cold kasi ako. So, kaya ganito siguro yung bosses ko. But, you know, sorry. But I really, really wanted to make a video about these shoes, uh, about the pros. Uh, and also, there are some cons. First con, the laces are actually made out of nylon. And nylon laces, they easily get untangled, untied. So, there were times when I was walking in, around the airport that I really had to relace my shoes. So, it's a hassle. Secondly, the insole. So, I haven't actually talked about the insole yet, but... Okay, here it goes. The insole, here we do have the Adidas logo and the Commonwealth logo there in one side. And we also have the Consortium logo on the other pair, other, other shoe. Now, the insole here is a little bit rough to the touch and it actually messed up my socks. I have cotton socks and it kind of like, I'll show you there. I don't know if you can see it, but... the. I, I don't know how to describe it as well, but parang ano, you know, yun ang nangyayari dito sa socks. So, medyo hassle siya. So, I'm gonna have to wear the same socks uh, for these shoes so that I don't ruin all my socks. Third, we do have a thin neoprene tongue for the shoe and it's actually an attached tongue. No? So, it doesn't go from side to side when you're wearing it. So, that's actually one good thing about this shoe. Now, the bad thing about this pair is the edge of the tongue. If you can see, they uh, actually have some stitching on the edge of the, of the tongue. And it's actually rough to the touch as well. And while walking, and if you do have short socks with these, it's going to hit or it's going to chafe against your ankles. And it's going to leave a, a scar. So, recommendation, wear longer socks with these shoes. Okay, so we do have a white outsole for this shoe, and if you, if you can see, I've actually been walking on them. We do have some exposed boosts here, and some here as well. So again, if you want to compare the chunky boost here on the ZX500 against the NMDs, you can actually see that these guys actually have more boost than the NMDs. So if you're wondering what to buy with 7,500 pesos, which is the price of the general release ZX500s and also the NMDs, I would probably go for the ZX500 because it's actually more comfortable than the MMDs. Did I just say MMDs? <laughs> Sorry. So yun guys, uh, kahit may sakit ako, gusto ko sanang maiabot sa inyo yung aking insights regarding these shoes. These are very, very comfortable shoes, but they actually have some cons also. If you love your socks, uh, you're going to have to purchase uh, less love socks or use less love socks here because uh, it's going to ruin it uh, on the long run. And you have to wear longer socks because of this edge right here. By the way, these shoes actually come with uh, two sets of laces also. One blue, one orange. So if you want to add more pop, to these shoes, you can actually change them with those laces. And I believe those laces are not nylon. So if you tie them, it's going to last longer than these guys. Because these, after some amount of walking, they get untangled and you're going to have to relace them from time to time. Bad trip. May napansin pala akong stain dito. So I'm going to have to clean this with an eraser when I get back to Manila. So guys, that's basically it. Uh, that's all I can say about these shoes. These are very, very comfortable. The colorway is really nice, I like it, and the materials that they've used are quality materials. Congratulations to Commonwealth 
and Adidas for coming out with these shoes. And hopefully, you guys have more collaborations. Hopefully, you have more colorways uh, coming up. And we're definitely going to be, I'm gonna definitely going to be there to purchase those shoes, whatever they are. For the next video, I'm going to come out with a guide on how to purchase from StockX or Goat.com if you're here in the Philippines. So if you want to see that, please do leave a comment on the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. See you on the next one.